Hi guys, thank you for clicking play. Welcome to episode 20 of Glory Glory Tottenham Hotspur. Today we look at the ins and outs from the summer transfer window. There's a lot of exciting new players to introduce you to, so let's get cracking. Run the intro. And there's no real disguise, Gascoigne shooting, and Gascoigne gloriously scoring! Now, as you can see, I have covered over the new signings. We'll introduce those to you one by one, but we'll start with the departures first. So first of all, we start with Cameron Carter-Vickers. He has gone to Bournemouth for £8 million. He was out on loan a lot last season. Didn't really see much point in keeping him around, really. We've got four good centre-backs. He is a good centre-back, and he'll do well at Bournemouth, but he's not the quality we need. Then we moved on to selling Denis Suarez to Everton for £12.5 million. Now, he did something that really annoyed me. I think I mentioned it when it happened, that he moaned that he wasn't in the Champions League squad. Now, we have a lot of players in our team. So to miss out on the Champions League squad, you know, all right, you want to play in the Champions League. It is an elite competition, but you don't whinge about it. And if you do, you're out the door. So we've made actually a profit on that. We signed him for 6.75, we sold him for 12.5. Moving on to Michel Vorm, he has gone to Al Hilai Rajar. He's gone to the Emirates, he's gone somewhere. You know my feelings on Michel Vorm, not a very good goalkeeper, so I was happy to let him run down his contract and send him on a free. The other man that's gone as well is Moussa Sissoko. He's gone to Dynamo Kiev for a fee rising to £12.25 million. Not a bad player, but didn't really make it in my team. He was out on loan for the first half of last season. He was brought back with a midfield crisis in the January window, so I decided to cash in in the summer. Another one of our youngsters has gone as well. Josh Onomar has joined newly promoted Sheffield United for a fee rising to £7.25 million. Again, another player that had a bit part, didn't really do anything when he was with us, hence why he keeps being farmed out on loan. So again, it was a no-brainer for the fee that we got for him. Another one that has left the club is George Kevin in Kudu. He has gone to CSKA Moscow for a fee rising to £9.25 million, which, considering he's only valued at six, is quite a good deal for us, really. Again, another bit part player who didn't play a lot last season, hasn't played a lot overall, and was surplus to requirements. You can add Vincent Janssen to that surplus to requirements statement as well was loaned out in the January window and has been sold to Fenerbahce for a fee rising to £11 million. We've made a loss on him since we bought him, but you'll be surprised and happy with who we bought in to replace him. Don't worry about that. And finally, one sad one to lose is Moussa Dembele. Now, Moose said to me in the summer, okay, we had a little chat, a private meeting, as you can do, obviously in-game, and he said he wanted a new challenge. So... Rather than stand in his way, he was out of contract at the end of this season anyway. We've sold him to Huddersfield Town for a fee rising to £29 million. And when you consider he's 32 years old, it ain't going to get much better than that, I don't think, in terms of how much we can get for him. So it was a no-brainer, really. Starting with the incomings now, we start with a very exciting one to begin with. Christian Pulisic has joined us from Borussia Dortmund for a fee initially of £28 million, rising to 34 with add-ons. Now, it's not often that I get the opportunity to sign a wonder kid, so I took that opportunity. This is the very first time in a live save that I've shown on YouTube, at least. Physical attributes are ones to look out for. An acceleration of 17, agility of 18, pace of 15, off the ball, 16 in the mental ones is very good. Work rate of 16 as well. Technique of 15. Potential to be a five-star player. And at £28 million, it is a snip. It was something we tried in January. We couldn't pull it off at the first opportunity before the summer window even opened. We got the deal done and over the line before everybody else swooped. So I'm glad to have got it over the line this time. The goalkeeper 
situation has been resolved. Jack Butlin has been bought in from Stoke City for a fee of £20 million, rising to 22.5 with add-ons. Will be the number two, without question. Paolo Gazzaniga will probably drop to number three, I would imagine, although it'll be an interesting fight between the two of them. He's a good goalkeeper. You have to say that about Jack Butland. Obviously, an England international, an England player. So we tick that little box to get another Englishman into our squad. Potential to be a three-star player. He could still improve. And at £20 million, it is a bit of a risk. But it's a risk worth taking. The next man to introduce to you is Wow Felix. Now, you know what they say about wonder kids. You don't see one for ages, then two come along at once. 19-year-old Portuguese, under-21 international with a transfer fee of £38 million, rising to 43. That is a big transfer fee. That has broken our transfer record. It'll be the only time this summer that it happens. Potential to be a five-star player if we play our cards right. Lots of good attributes, technique, passing, vision, agility, composure, first touch. And he can play behind the striker. We've got a few options there. And he's another string to that bow. And he doesn't have to be registered because he's under 21. And moving on to the next one. Nicolo Barella has been bought in from Calgary. Now we have finally replaced Victor Wanyama. And kind of Moussa Dembele. In one fell swoop with this man. Potential to be a four-star player. £22.5 million we paid Calgary for his services. Stamina of 15, work rate of 15, teamwork of 15. Bravery, composure, concentration, decision-making, determination. His mental stats, apart from flair, which you wouldn't expect from a box-to-box -box midfield player, it's all very good. And he's only 22. He's only got one and a half stars to go until he reaches his potential. But if he does... He will be very, very good, and I'm looking forward to this one. Next man in the door is Matthias Pellegrini, bought in from Estudes in Argentina. Now, we have a slight problem, first of all, with this one. Um, he can't get a work permit, so he probably will be loaned out. We're going to try again after the 120 days has expired to see if we can get this one in. Doesn't have to be registered because he's under 21, so that's good news. But he hasn't played any pre-season at all because he's not been able to. So we are looking to loan him out. But again, the mental stats, determination, 20. I very rarely see that with a player to have the highest stat there. Potential to be a four and a half star player if it comes off for him. And hopefully it will, if not with us to start with, certainly somewhere else around Europe. And they just keep on coming. This time we have Munier, who has been bought in from Barcelona, of all places, on a free transfer. 23-year-old Spanish international. He has only the one cap, but he is a Spanish international nonetheless. And has been bought in to help William Jose support Harry Kane, essentially. Finishing a 14, technique of 15, off the ball of 15, acceleration of 14, agility of 16, he plays that advanced forward role, which I like, and he's a winner. Obviously, with Barcelona, he wins lots and lots of things. Hopefully, he can transfer that across to us. Potential to be a three-star player, currently two and a half stars. And on to the next one. We have Thomas Manera has been bought in from Paris Saint-Germain for £23 million, rising to £24 million. He's a right-back. He's a full-back right-back. He will replace Serge Aurier. He has a deal with Celtic. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Obviously, they have up until the 31st of August. We're on August the 9th today. Our window has closed. But I was delighted to get this one done. Another winner. Another player who has been at Paris Saint-Germain for three years and has won everything there is to win. Another one that I'm hoping can transfer it over to us. He is a little bit better than Serge Aurier in terms of his crossing ability, pace, anticipation, concentration. Teamwork, mostly, is a good thing for him. 16 and a good work rate, which Serge Aurier doesn't offer us. So he's definitely an upgrade, and he will challenge Kieran Trippier for the right-back spot. Now the big ones start rolling in. Anthony Martial has been bought in on loan for the rest of the season. I saw it come up. I saw that other clubs were interested, and I couldn't and didn't hesitate to try and bring him in. 
to play on that left hand side i know we have sun we have a couple of others who can play out there anthony martial will light up the tottenham hotspur stadium i'm delighted to have got it done it's only a loan deal obviously he cannot play against manchester united but he can play it against everybody else which you know is it good for manchester united to have loaned him out obviously he'll help us and he'll help them at the same time so it's a good move for both parties 23 potential ability to be a four star player currently only a three and we are now looking at one for the future jack clark has been bought in from leeds united for two million pounds Potential to be a two and a half star player. So he's not going to set the world on fire. My thinking is if I get Harry Kane to tutor him and to mentor him, we can get him to that two and a half star ability. Potentially could grow. I don't know. I'm not au fait with the potential ability stuff. I'm hoping it can. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. But yeah, at two million pounds, it's the cheapest fee we've actually paid for a player. I'm delighted to bring him in. And last, but by no means least, we have Wilmar Barrios has been bought in from Paris Saint-Germain. Now, he is a direct replacement for Moussa Dembele, a ball-winning midfielder from PSG. We have gone back to them yet again. So that's four players we've signed from PSG, if you count Lucas Moura, Serge Aurier, Thomas Menea, and now Wilmar Barrios, a good centre midfield player aggressive brave on the ball good work rate good teamwork good tackling he's going to be a very important cog in that centre midfield but hopefully you've enjoyed today's video if you've got any questions about any of the new signings any comments you'd like to make about the new signings please don't hesitate to contact me on the socials or in the comments section below but hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. That was episode 20 of Glory Glory Tottenham Hotspur. It's Arsenal next for us. And I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.